for yeah. nouns, it's they're not for nouns, for NRG, it's the direct inverse. When they win, it's great. When they lose, it's insanely close. And you mentioned it yourself. The one that should stick out to me, you, and everybody alike is that loss to Legacy. 13-10 is no easy feat. And that is one of the best teams in the region, contending to be one of the better teams in the world. So you can't be upset about that. This is a very confident, comfortable, great map for NRG. And if they want to bounce back with the little momentum they garnered in the second half of Ancient, this is the place to find yourselves. On the CT side, they'll be defending what nouns throw at them. It was a rocky start on Ancient, but now some newer included territory of Dust 2 is going to reawaken them. Now a little bit of a tap through mid as Carson and Nitro lock eyes with each other. In the heat of the battle, both of them are going to come away with a little bit of a tag, but nothing more than that. And now a very heavy mid-presence. They've cleared through tunnels. Now it's only really Nitro that they have to contend with in the nearby area. They have sent a little bit of presence in the likes of Junior over towards that B site, just as a contingency and backup. Maybe uh, playing the long game and waiting for the flank. But right now, just very quiet, approaching mid, and Nitro is just going to back away. Splits that even on pistols, but the split heavily favors B, and I don't think we're going to stay even for very much longer. Hacks, great response in tunnels, and that's given them a great backline to go back in and defend this site from. Maybe you'll get this plant, sure, but you're about to lose Carson in middle. You're about to be down on numbers. You're about to be stuck having to post plant in a massive disadvantage, and Rush, he's not going to help you one bit. No, this is a difficult site to retake off when, but actually just a nice clean shot and it looked oh, like all Lord. of those bullets, they're just dancing around there, none of them able to hit. Magnetism at work in its finest, but loads of time for the defuse and as you said, suddenly they had the bomb down, that's good money, it means they can force into the next round. They didn't have anybody left to even defend the plant with, so it was sort of done and sorted, but as we said, money from the bomb plant should they choose to go for a force in i doubt it let them have it too early on to be making these risks for nouns mm. but i guess it's a late round decision that changes their minds They've only got one AK, though. The one thing that worries me about this round is flashes. Those are the most important piece of utility for Dust 2, for long, for mid, for B. Everywhere you go, you need flashes, and they've only got two of them. Use them wisely. Yeah, we will have to count as they are expended. There's one of them. Try round them around the corner. Carson gets the first. That nade is going to be monumental. Hex gets one and automatic another, and they are weak oh and Lord. squishy, but Rush... What a crazy peek there. Kill onto Hexed and now 3v3 still on hand. Rush is distinctly hobbling, however. And Nitro here could be huge. They're not going to expect him. There's the bomb dropped as well. And now they can all converge round and lock out anybody. They know that mid is where it's going to have to be. There's a minute on the clock. Junior in a tough situation. I like this, however, CJ going around the world. Yeah, this is the play you want to be making, and, well, it's not the greatest endeavor to find yourself in. It's a winnable one for sure, so this MAC-10 will charge headstrong back into middle. Now, the good part is you've only got a 1v1 to potentially take anywhere, and he's even taken a couple extra seconds to really cross his T's and go through tons. Now, it's a guaranteed 1v1 on Nitro, who's, lucky enough, found himself a handful of smokes and is now going to force you to walk right back in if you want to attempt this. CJ has one of his own, but I don't really know how much it'll benefit him in the long run. Time dwindling thin, becoming the number one enemy, and it'll eventually force him to reveal his cover. No more anonymity to be seen here shortly as Nitro is ready for him to walk oh, through the smoke. No. Cross paths in Nitro's favor. NRG, calm, cool, collected for a second. It got a little bit scary there. They just miss each other in the smoke, and luckily it's Nitro that comes out on top here, and Nouns forced by Dismantled. And technically, they're in a very similar position financially that they were when they bought. Potentially, they could go for it again. Not the smart move, though. You're only likely to see a couple of these Tech Nines coming out. There's a Deagle on Carson as well. And two flashes on CJ, so there's clearly a plan here. And it looks like it's heavy over towards Long. And uh, unfortunately here for Carson, he is in a rough spot. That looks too hot. But then again, it's a tale as old as time. Or Glocks versus AKs, M4s, whatever kind of shebang you want to throw up for him. It's just 
never gonna be a winning favoritism for these blocks, and yeah, crystals just live exactly to what they're prophesized to be, which is absolutely nothing. And a quick it's, start from NRG is a roll reversal. It's really refreshing when you see an eco round go exactly how an eco round should, right? Yep. Because too many times I've been seeing these eco rounds where there's been like a single CZ on a player and they've got like a jumping flying kill as they drop down into canals on Anubis and they win the round off the back of that. I'm just really glad sometimes to see an eco round being an eco round. It is a breath of fresh air. It's it's way too common nowadays that we see like one eagle turn into a potential round win. Case it, in point, uh, OC, last map. It makes our jobs really difficult, doesn't it? Because we're like, oh, it's an eco round. You know, we, we, we're not going to be expecting too much. They can maybe limit test and then they win the round and we're like, well, we look stupid now. Well, there goes my paycheck. <laughs> oh, now talking of paychecks, this nade is going to be making every oh single my. pound it was worth worth it. And there we go, softened up both Carson and George to 50% health. And with the SMG there, it can do serious damage. Junior, having a little bit of a nosy, just holding for anyone daring to even peek this, but... No one is going to be silly enough to do that automatic. Made the smart decision. Should just sit in CT and wait. A lot of time being expended from nouns, just waiting for the opportune moment to strike. But this is a double-edged sword. Again, Nitro, a couple rounds ago, he ran into some good fortune thanks to the smokes recovered in the lower tons. Same to be happening here. And he's even got a nice cheeky lineup. Throw that molly, and it might be one of the last things you do. As the spam will follow suit right afterwards. Flash in, misses the mark. Nitro's got maybe two locked down, but not the B-site. That's a rough one, and the fact that they let another person slip in... And that's the orb coming on out, singing loud, singing proud, and now the utility as well. Not much of it, but just a little bit for that stall potential, trying to just dissuade NRG from even looking at attempting this. And you can see they're going for exits here. They're not pushing the issue. They're not in a position to do so, and they've got too much to save given how their money's looking. It's looking pretty good. But again, it's, you want to try to be building it up in the background even when you're on these losses. And, yep, quite round. Nouns might need to be a little bit careful here. Are they going to expect Breezy? Well, not for the first, wow. and they should have for the second. And now suddenly Junior takes a whole chunk of damage. Anything earlier in the round, and he would have been done for. And that's actually a very nice way to salvage a couple of kills at the end. I'm surprised mid went as swimmingly as it did, because we, we both mentioned that heater of a nade that just sinks onto Carson and George to kick off the round, and they start backing away. They fall off. They say, you know what, mid, not our day. And then eventually, later on in the round, they use it to not only leverage their way into the B site, but leverage that post plant beyond that fact. There was still a three-on-three, -three, an opportunistic spot. Just... A window quickly closed by one man in automatic. Rather, I'm sorry, by, uh, I believe it was actually Junior. However, the point still stands that Nouns used it to actually win themselves the round. And NRG want nothing to do with aggression toward long this one round. It's just maybe some quick spotting from Breezy. A majority of it actually taking place on Catwalk. And NRG will assumingly play a retake if things go awry. Definitely looks like the plan for them right now. If they can not have to play retake, that works better for them because retakes, they've been not necessarily the easiest or best showings from them. So if they can stop it in the first place, that is awesome. Denies the money, denies the challenge that comes after. And Nouns, I really like that they're playing this very passively because over on Ancient, it just seemed like fight after fight in the first 20 seconds. And now this, they're playing at a little bit quieter of a pace, trying to make NRG uncomfortable. But the issue is, NRG, it doesn't seem like the same team that we saw on Ancient. It's a team that's happy to be patient. However, they've rotated everyone pretty much over towards this A site. And unfortunately, that bomb has started moving and schmoving over to B. 
And Nitro's not even going to bother committing here. As time dwindles thinner and thinner, he's just going to wait. Maybe see somebody in tons, maybe not. The moral of the story is, yes, you've only got one on B, but what you have is 20 seconds to make a thing go right. And two kills from Nitro? Hell, you'll take that. Sure, get to plant for all they care. They're sprinting back in, and numbers are just too much in the favor of NRG for this round to fall by the wayside. Four to go. At this point, dive in. He's got to stick the plant around the pillar. He'll get it, but he'll get nothing else beyond it. It's nice they get the plump, but lovely done there. Nitro gets any less than two, and that round's suddenly so much more difficult because you have somebody to defend your bomb plant there. It means that you have that little bit of an extra second for somebody to pull out their weapon, and you can really contend this. When you're on your own, you need to plant, you want the money, you know that that is the only way that this round is even feasible, and then you just don't have time because they know that you can't fake this, you know that there's no time, so you just swarm them, they get it down, but you get the immediate kill. Nitro misses the second one there. The fact that they... Sorry. They haven't cleared him out oh like twice. And the moment I start making another comment, NRG decides to step up once again. I'm liking these protocols from NRG, to be completely honest with you. With the exception of the flub in the previous round before, you know, obviously the Nitro insane pickup. It has actually been rather solid. Hasn't been any, like, crazy committal duels, which I think is a big difference from what we saw in the early stages of Ancient on that CT side, where they were a lot more gung-ho about actually sticking around and trying to win a duel and trying to find a trade and trying to win the round. Here, it's... You know, take a jiggle, we don't get the kill we want, we fall back, we reset, we regroup, we play the long game. Hexed, a player that you have talked highly about, and a couple of frags like that, three in a round to secure themselves a fifth, and this is feeling very reminiscent of what happened to them over on Ancient. But it's really nice to see that, you know, they, they had a very, very rough start. They were burning through timeouts, but the fact that they managed to keep their cool, and even after a loss, reset come back into this less than 10 minutes later to just go right into the fray and, and pull out results like this really good to see now junior has that t side or something that we're not always getting to see a whole lot of dust to when it's not directly looking through mid and it's not they've sent him over towards b to try help out with a little bit of a problem not they've been again. having not again please don't let it oh my god uh, okay, that should be a warning and a wake-up sign for NRG, who have now a couple of times let this slip with a Nitro one-for-one one trade required in mid to even progress into a site retake. Benefit is, it's currently three-on-three three if they were to just go guns a blazing charge back in Rambo style, but I don't think they have a high intention of doing that. Somehow, I agree. They, they don't have a, a high intention. This is a very difficult one. This B site is so difficult to crack and potentially Breezy finds a kill on CJ, but that time is already really ticking. You've got way too much on you to risk it. You really don't have to rebuy it with that time already. Oh, it's gone. All it is now is damage control because they've got somebody covering every single exit. No exit is safe here. So they're trying to just keep them on here and take away every single one of those weapons. They are just going to bunker down on site. And luckily, I'm going to live because no damage has been taken. But that one, uh, I like the ending there for NRG. I like that they've got every exit on lockdown, just in case. I, I assume they were hoping some damage was exchanged on anybody else. Yeah. But no dice. I imagine B is also going to drastically look different here. Even though we've seen Nitro do well, I think they're leaving a lot to his individual success, and it's a bit uncomfortable. Usually, I feel a setup when you're especially A heavy on defaults is 3 1 1, but they've actually been 4 1. They've kept a fourth player close to Catwalk. He's the interim CT slash mid player that has been entirely absent when Nitro's needed him. Oh, see. It's a beautiful flash, but actually nothing really capitalized off of it. He's gonna hit the Molotov, but he's got a little bit of a what? window still to work with. George, it's an incredible peak. Automatic found one of his own, however. Breezy, it's messy, and that would have been a huge one to find, but George doubles up and doubles down with a 2k to secure themselves the site. And I'll be honest with you, probably secure themselves the round here, especially with Juno now watching the angle that they're desperately trying to peak. 
That was some, a great misdirection from Nouns going through that smoke. It was all a bait and switch. You saw the shoulder of the first man running out. I want to say it was CJ. And then, uh-oh, right back at you. George is actually taking an angle above the railing. Just barely enough to where he can see outside of it. And everybody is so focused about that run through. Everybody is so focused about you scaling up elbow that... Nobody keeps a glance on Junior, or not Junior, on George's angle, and he just finds mounds of success. It's one player, and it's all it takes mounds to scale their way into an A site berth and around win. And we mentioned, you know, Breezy, it was an unfortunate going of the player on the long wall. I actually don't know how much it mattered. Even if he finds one hell two on Cat, it's still only one remaining defend off. A, you had three players sneaking around the corner along. It was a guaranteed trade. It was still guaranteed numbers up. And it was still Noun's round to begin with. The real question is how they scale that far on Catwalk. Not only undetected, but untouched. Yeah. Noun's, it's, it's nice to see that they're not down and out. I was a little bit worried that we were going to see just a stomp at the start of the first half. This match, definitely looking a lot more competitive in the early stages. Orps out on both sides, which is what we like to see. Are we going to get the traditional draw down mid? That we are, and OC is going to win it on out, and it's not actually going to be the Orp that's taking that fight. Maybe a little bit to OC's surprise there, because Junior spots an elbow. What? What? I didn't even know you could do that. I... Hey, right, bro. Nah, back to the lobby. See it. Don't even bother. Don't even try it. It's not gonna work. Molly's exchanged looks at the same caliber. And you got damage on this cross, but this bomb is a guaranteed shutdown. And Rush is coming in from a cat flank. Almost at least guaranteed of the one. But guess what? This box. Oh, he thought he could... Wait, OC doesn't actually keep a, a mark on this. They have no idea. He's actually all the way behind. It's retake! And they both line up. Rush doing it all himself as he spots the last two. Now it's dead in the water. I, I How was the noise not heard? Because it wasn't know. just the drops down, it was then the running towards them. Um, <laughs> maybe sound needs a little bit of adjusting there. Maybe you need to have your game sounds a little bit higher than your teammates sometimes. But that's that's a massive faux pas there. That's just a missed, I'd say a missed audio cue. That was four missed audio cues. And then if you count individual footsteps, that's like ten missed audio cues. So, bit of a rough one there for the side of NRG. And also, Junior, they deserve to win the round sh just purely off the back of that single AWP shot through the box. It's cold. It's brutal. But it's exactly what Nouns needed to get themselves back into this. I I literally didn't know you could do that. I, and, I've you know, I don't... I've seen it done. I know that it was possible. I've never seen someone actually manage to hit the shot that cold, though. Because like, there's still a lot of room behind that box. And you've got to yep. be really careful because, of course, you're going through a, a wall, quote-unquote. So it's not going to do the max amount of damage. But just so, so clean from Junior. I'm, I'm just astonished I've never seen it. You know, I don't have the craziest resume in the game. I've only been playing since 2017. But in my seven, maybe combined 8,000 hours total, I did not know that was a thing. Needless I... to say, I will never touch that box again. Nope. <laughs> That's his box now. I'm he good, bro. Has claimed it. That's all you. Just, he marked it. I love seeing moments like that. It's watching people who are good at what they do is just awesome. George. There's a lot of utility being thrown his way, and that's a very dangerous angle to hang around and spray in because there is only a very, very small window that you can be in, and anyone aims even remotely near that, and it's going to be your head and chest pumped full of bullets. Now, does back away. They are through the doors now. And slowly approaching up long, clearing out car. They've not seen anything, but it's breezy up on the side that they have to deal with. Because unfortunately, OC has already been a little bit distracted by Catwalk. There's the first pick, and it immediately pulls back onto side. OC finds one, but in the meantime, George has got another. He's burning alive, and that second shot was it. Was it, OC? No, it was not. Hex gets another, and now 2v3. Rush Nitro. This is an awkward fight here, and it's going to be a matter of who spots who first, and I think the Shadow gave it away just a little bit there, but... This round... Surprised. There's always been someone lurking. 
They're still going for it though. They've got a kid. No. I think what they were doing is if they'd spotted anybody, they would have gone for it off the back of finding a pick there. If somebody had been looking car and they'd managed to find the kill on them. But yeah. no, no. Um not presented with any opportunities. You give them an inch, they'll take a mile and now and say tie up that score with five five. From what a, a five one start to uh, four zero oh, technically. Yeah. Well, it was a four zero oh start five one. Yeah. So. That's it's it's something else. Nouns, they they raise their eyebrows at us forever questioning their ability to play this map. I mean, I I thought this was like written in the stars for NRG with with everything that was lining up as of late. It felt like this was theirs to lose. Oh, don't you do it! Junior gives a warning shot to Hex through the wall. As much a warning as 73 HP can be. But a salty start to the 11th round may leave you desperate for a response. Yeah. Salty start. You're going to need to quench the thirst here. And it's going to be... Uh, the response is going to be for Nouns to back away a little bit. Uh, regroup and just keep this mid control. Head over a little bit towards B. Uh, for the side of NRG, not really doing too much. They've got Breezy poking around at long doors. Just trying to clear out any information. Unfortunately, uh, he's not quite looking in the right spot here. No, and they're all going to pause. But this gives the NRG a great amount of time to try and respond. Take something back, maybe work with control. But again, these are two islands of sites that are completely isolated from one another. You've got two on B that are likely never going to get that support line from automatic and CT spawn. So this is a, a hold your own or just go out with the wind kind of round. You don't even have that much utility either. That's your last smoke. And unfortunately, I think they've just missed it. <laughs> yep, that doesn't look intentional. Or maybe, you know, maybe it's psychological warfare. It's all to the spray. That's a lovely Molotov in response there, but unfortunately the smoke is going to be in the way there. Oh my god, wait, automatic snuck through it. They actually didn't see him. Carson's behind him. They're flanking the flanker, but they're still hexed it. Car, 17 seconds seems too small a time frame for Nouns to make any errors. And the amount that comes through, go to please a round win guaranteed for NRG. When you drop the bomb on the entry, when you lose numbers with 17 seconds to go, it's usually not a great outlook. Fumble the ball, fumble the bomb. It's just not working out at the moment, Nouns. Uh, they had something really nice going for them. They've hit a little bit of a curb here, but they've got the money to, be, uh, to buy back into this, which is really nice. I really love when we get to see, you know, two, three in a row, all out firefights. Everyone with max arsenal online, because it really helps you differentiate. It means that teams can kind of mess around and figure out what's working for them and limit test a little bit. And it's through mid once again for Nouns, where they're not going to be met with any resistance this time, except for a little bit of Hexed having a look, a little bit of OC having a look from each direction. They Fight's kind of a bit isolated. Alternatively, they can trap like fish in a barrel in mid, and they're just going to be shot at one by one. They go one apiece right now. An automatic rush on forward as the smoke will blossom is unfortunately going to be taken down. Not quite safe in time by the pillow re emerging. Breezy gets one, but a bullet to the dome as his thank you gift. And now Hex, last left alive, finds mm. CJ. Rushes low on HP, but Junior with the orc, and that bomb is down in an awkward location, but it's going to be a 6-6 six, six half to close us out here.
No separation whatsoever between these two, and you can tell NRG are fighting. A lot of grit left in them, but same for Nouns, who started down 4-0-5-1. They find themselves here, and on even footing, this pistol is anybody's for the taking. That it is, and it would be a really nice way to start the half off. Nouns, slower start. They were four rounds, or so 4-0 down at the start. I think it went 5-1 and one for a while, and... Now, it would be really nice for them to get off on the right foot here, but for NRG, they really want to kick this back up into gear. George with the first. It's a lovely pick and still waiting around for a little bit more. Spots a shoulder. It's going to get a bullet to the head. That's a goosh that's going to make him run for the hills. On the other side of the map, there's going to be a little bit of a map. Hexed. Spots out Carson. Picks up his weapons, and now the jewelry is repossessed. And now 4v4 on our hands. And I think they've realized that A is the play. Initially thinking it's far more vulnerable, but they couldn't be more wrong. These duelies at long range could give them a much easier time if Hex can create a much or a bigger ruckus. Currently pulling three players' attention to the other end of the map. Right now, the only one to defend the A site is going to be George on 12 HP. It's not the hottest of uh, HP bars to work with, but these still make it work. Three on four, the bomb is down. There are kits for this. There are indeed, and everyone is coming on over, but Breezy, every kill that they get makes this so much harder. Nitro's backing away for one, but actually it's going to take a while for him to get it. Rush is in the middle of all the battle. Gets a kill. It's not going to be enough. And NRG, they take the second pistol round. And that's a really important one to win, especially when your opponent's on CT side. Because it really gives them a slow start to the half. CT economy is so punishing. It's so difficult to get online and then to keep stable. So losing that pistol round, that's a really rough position. It looks like they are going to just force into this, however. You're right, but my memory serves me correctly. Every force by has gone down the gutter, and it doesn't seem like nouns have learned from the history. <laughs> and again, foolishness sometimes can be the right play. NRG, quite the substantial upgrade in weaponry almost everywhere you look, featuring rifles, and MAC-10s, utility, almost everything you could ask for to have the upper hand in a round like this, but Nouns aren't going to back down for free. They've got an MP9 well-established and hopefully well-orchestrated. With Carson's two flashes, you could be in for a world of trouble. Let's see what they do. Carson is going to tap away the first rush, gets the kill, but actually the pistols, they are seeing out. Oh, see, that's the difference maker is that kill over onto Junior. George has found one elsewhere on the map, and it's brought them a little bit of room to work with, but he's now left really, really weak. But to 1v2, they play this right, they can isolate the 2v1. They just need to not feed into OC. He thrives in these isolated fights. Do not let him take them. He's very paranoid too, because he's got no idea where he's going to be coming from, but it has to be quick. That nade's going to be the clue where they're heading. Spots both of them. There's the kill. They're going to hop straight on the defuse, and there should be time even without the kill there. And it's a difficult one there for OC. Too many angles, too many avenues, and unfortunately now they are worming their way in everywhere on the map. And finally, history changes a little bit. Now we get some interesting play with the bomb plant feature. And NRG have the opportunity to attempt the force buy, though it seems doubtful currently. No purchases yet. 
taking their time, really thinking about this, but so far it's There's just sm one smoke. Ooh. Oh, there you go. There's a commitment. Takes him the last second. That's a full buy, I'd argue. That is a full buy. That is all of their resources thrown at the walls there. And albeit it doesn't look like much, but as an overall percentage of the money that they had, it's everything. Now, now is a real opportunity to punish here. CJ the King hiding where Nitro caused so many problems for them on their CT side. Have they uh, learned from their own strap book here? I imagine they have. Rush! Gun's not out! Gun's not out! It's just a 1v1 essentially for CJ, who's uncleared. Sprays two. Rush isolated on the site, but the flashes start raining over from mid. And this is where the round becomes almost unwinnable. Deagle needs a headshot, and it comes close. Just not close enough. Automatic is left in an unrecoverable situation. Dire straights in lower mid. Carson will make efficient use of the kill in tons, so a lead regained by Nouns, and for the first time this game, it's them on top. Now 8 for 3 in the last 11 rounds. Rush there was in such an awkward position because you could see him double take. You could see that he thought he'd got the kill and then had to go back to finish the job. We've all done it. That moment where we just look away or, or flinch because, yeah, no, we've done it. We've put enough bullets into them. Surely they're still not alive. Um, but gets the kill. It's so unfortunate because I think there could have been one or more. If the A1S bullet is what it was two years ago, that could have been just a third kill. But he runs that bullets, doesn't have time to bring out the sidearm. But the fact that he keeps so calm and manages to find so much impact there. Ooh. We've also been talking a lot about the HE grenades this round, and they have been doing a lot of damage here. Yeah, parkouring his way on over to help in mid. Wait, what? That's not even Junior. That's a really big kill to lose because the, the last remaining man to stop this split is 10 HP and CT spawn. Yeah, rough one. Now they all come piling up catwalk. The the, they had the event the? going through mid, but now they're winning it's out. Glocks! Pistols? It's a 1v3 and it was Glocks coming into the round. Junior, I don't know how you're supposed to fight that bad. They didn't invest a single penny here for it for energy. Not a flash, not a smoke. It is Glocks and Dreams. Uh, there's there's no words. There are surely a timeout, no? No? No timeout. Just straight back into the fray there. And with what is a messy buy here. They've got that AWP and they wanted to keep Junior on the AWP because it's been finding some level of results. Not what we want to and what we'd expect to from him, mostly. But they've not really got the weapon and the utility to support it here. Maybe... It's going to be an interesting round. But we did just see, as you said, five glocks and nothing but win a round. So I'm just going to zip it on that one. Nothing's real. Economy doesn't matter. Run pistols every round. Just get the kills. Well, it seems like Carson has followed that direction to a T. Walks into a house, gets a kill, backs away. And now if you want to swing back in, you got a lot bigger of a punch to meet you in Junior Zop. Now, in mid they go, Nitro leading the charge. Not a lot more to favor the side of Nouns after that kill. So it's not like energy are speechless in the current endeavor, but it's also not like Nouns are without their ideas. Flashing into Catwalk, they get good information on what's to come. I'm also quite curious as to what they think the buy that they're up against is, because they've only taken down that one pistol. So they know that there was a pistol. Do they think that it is everyone on these pistols? And oh, oh my lord. That's it. That could have been much more there relying on Carson to step up but he's only good for two there but OC left low I say only good for two does everything that he needs to in a little bit more has left OC alive to go send the message to everybody else and he has the bomb on back he is going to be running over towards that site has to be careful though footsteps he's not close enough that they've been heard just yet but Junior he's gonna have to have the reaction times all of a god here the tag 
do this up close and personal. The flick not quite going to hit. Dancing around the barrel. OC gets one. There's been a wall uh -oh. bomb plant here. Upgraded the weapon. Playing with his signature. And now 2v1. He hops him up. You can hear both of them. They don't quite manage to find him. But there we go. Dude. You give him that one kill on the boxes. Oh man. OC is going to make you regret giving him that up. Yep. But it's range duels are always tricky. Oh, it's a very rough angle too. Even the best of the best orpers. That's a really rough fight with the orp. Because your gun barrel sticks out wherever you go, right? So they know exactly which direction you're facing. They can tell exactly which direction around the box you're going to go. Uh, which makes it very difficult. And the no scopes, whilst you can get to a certain level where you can kind of predict what they're going to do, they are still wildly inaccurate. They are still really difficult to hit. So it would have taken a whole hell of a lot for that to be a um, positive outcome. But I like the thought, and as you said, so close to greatness there. And it's, you shouldn't be putting yourself in situations like that because OC is one of the people that can really run away with it. So is Carson. So I like their faith in him right outside the longhouse. But at the same time, when you're 1v2, it's not an easy duel to win. But they're taking aggressions everywhere. Full control of tons. Keeping Carson in front of a long. Three players out mid. Nouns have set up one of the most straightforward and aggressive defenses you're going to see in modern day Counter-Strike. It's so aggressive, but that flash is going to be the end of it all. And now here we go. Junior jumping on top of the ball. Says lovely little bit of an off angle here. The flash gonna cause him to back away, however. And they reset the timing. NRG grasping at straws right now. And we've got to mention that beyond that Glock round, this half has not been that amazing. They won the pistol, they lost the force, they lost the subsequent force after that force, and then ever since. It's just not really had that much pizzazz to it. They'll sneak up long to try and change around that fact with a flash to aid George in crossing the car, and they're none of the wiser to get collected through the smoke and leave them in a two on four. Nitro sneaks into enemy lines, not detected, not calm, somehow doing damage, and eventually he gets put to an end. That indeed is the end, and next. That bomb, very difficult to retrieve. And yes, he has all the space in the world to work with, but with 10 seconds and no bomb, there is no round. This one- Can you at least get this AK, guys? At what cost? Um, your dignity, your pride in a round, I think is the cost. <laughs> I mean, it, it almost hurts you to say this, AK, because look at everybody around you, right? This is a full save for NRG. You're going into a buy round in the following, so unless Hexed can somehow carry this AK through to the following round, you've now got one of your star fraggers on a MAC-10, a Deagle, in one of the most important rifle rounds of this round, Robin, for you, and that's not an optimal start. There's definitely going to be hunts if they know Hexed is the last alive with what he has saved, but that's even if you get that far. Flash is out. He's trying to take the, the first kill. Flash as the bodyguard, however, they triple stack this angle, and they know the MRG. They have got such a propensity to play mid. And now automatic, 25 HP, that bomb. He can see it, but he cannot get it. And the nade right on the top of the head. That one is going to be hurting tomorrow. And now, 11. This was the cursed number, however, for nouns. They were stuck on 11 for a really long time. So, maybe they can redeem themselves and get this sorted. I like the energy is calling a timeout. However, the issue that they have is they call a timeout and Nouns gets to use that time too. It's not just one horse in the race for NRG. There's a lot more to consider. And again, this is what I was mentioning, right? Look at Hexed where he currently sits. $1,700 to spend however he'd like to see fit. But that leaves him with an SMG. You don't get a bomb plant here. You're looking at, like, table scraps for what could be the last round of this series. And you're also looking at an energy team who's about to go from potentially two to maybe number five. It could a be of a rounds. big drop. Yeah, this is their final, final series of the group stage. And yes, they qualify no matter what. 
for that playoff bracket because they will finish top 10 here regardless of the outcome. They really, really wanted to keep that slot so they didn't have to face up against Legacy until later in the tournament. Straight to semi-finals is a huge benefit, but George is going to be the first one to try put that dream to rest. Hex hears this, but they're still fighting for mid. There's no trades. They're going to get out almost unscathed. Spam, late OC spotted. George, or rather Junior, still taking these fights, wanting more. Like a shark, he smells the blood in the water. But eventually decides to tame himself and fall back into CT spawn. NRG, this mid-round movement isn't doing them very much. Automatic is clearing out these niche angles in spawn, or rather in lower tons. But now... This is the next issue. There's so many different spots to clear to make sure nouns aren't trying to wiggle their way into another cheeky frag. Extend this advantage further. That's going to continuously eat away at this clock. You're already under 50 seconds to go, and you have almost no utility to support your cause. The bomb almost soon detected by CJ. This is the round light. The kills, if there had been another trade, that would have been an empty bomb site potentially to work with. But no, it's not. And they both topple. And now just OC left. 1v4 needed. And it's looking pretty dire. A smoke, a flash, his wits about him. And unfortunately, players on both sides. He hears the drop down. And that's going to be his call. Maybe that he can move over in that direction. But 15 seconds. It's just a matter of watching that timer disappear. Is George going to get to him first? He stops it. He sees the head and takes it down. But 8 seconds. 7, 6, 5. And the bomb too far away. And that is going to be series point. They're going to try it. No seat. Not out of the water yet. Half HP. Junior. Runs in with the duelies and a desperate attempt to take away that uh, that last remaining rifle, which would have been a straight kill shot to NRG if not already. Averaging about three grand a player, it's not pretty. And you're riding with pistols, upgrades, slight SMGs into what could be your last round of this entire day in ECL alongside at least the regular season. Yeah, it's been going on since July, and you've had such good results for it to end like this for you to slide quite dramatically down the rankings and lose that lovely seeding in the last day with the draft. And of course, oh, Carson, he does it. He gets two. Junior gets a third automatic. He finds one, and he's astral projecting right now. We can see him in third person. But even that might not be enough to save him. Rush has the battle with Hex to contend with. And unfortunately, Hex, rough angle. And Rush is already on it. Spamming through the wood. Actually, he rounds the corner, gets the kill, and upgrades his weapon as well. Now, slipping into the smoke. Just going to dodge the line of sight of CJ. But next up, Junior. His next challenge. Junior's wise about this, though. You saw him already suspect somebody inside of the smoke. I'm sure this angle is going to at least get half-checked, let alone a full clear. Scoped in. Hex has another opportunity in front of him. Not checked. And it seems like he's not ready to let this game slip through his fingertips just yet. Again, time not amazing. But the map is their canvas right now in which they can paint whatever picture they'd like. B, A, mid, all alike. They just wait. Announce. It feels like they have to make the next move. It's a slow crawl in these seconds tick away like eternities But eventually the bomb has to pick a destination and right now it seems CJ's is the one to be tested Is indeed is he going to be ready for it? He hears the footsteps. He turns around. He has the right idea but the wrong execution and now George left to try to secure this round They have a little bit of a buffer if they want to go for it. He's got the angle do they know where he is? I don't think so. So now they wait for it. They're just going to tuck in. If you can find the kill on Hexed, Automatic is going to round the corner immediately. He just misses the timing there. And suddenly, even harder job ahead. There is a kit available. If he can get ahead of this rotate, if he can find this kill. But actually, I think it's already too late. There's the first one. But really needs to hop onto this bomb. Smoke coming on out. He's got the protection of the box. There's the jump. He's baited on out the shot. And he should have time as well here. It's going to be really close and down to the wire. But that's what it is. A matter of milliseconds. A matter of bullets. And they're going to take the second map as well. Now it's 2-0 in the best of ones today. And they have destroyed NRG's potential chance 
at an immediate semi-final position. It's a statement win, and revenge tastes so sweet on a Dutch wrestler called You Saw. Rather, I, I mentioned earlier their double elimination from ESL Challenger Atlanta qualifiers via NRG. Well, as you came in.